Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome back to another unboxing video uh, for the month. Basically, this time around, I'm unboxing stuff that I actually got for the month of November. And there is a lot of stuff. Uh, I didn't expect to have this much backlog, or rather this much stuff that I ordered. <laughs> oh god. So, it's almost as many stuff as many things as compared to September uh, hopefully December it is not that many because uh, that's a lot of money <laughs> and I need to control myself oh god okay so um, let's get down to it we are gonna start with all the smaller packages here and of course uh, among all this stuff as usual they are the, fa the, the series that I actually adore uh, alongside with Macross if you guys know by now I'm sure <laughs> most of you do um, my channel mostly does Uta Macross content which is a mobile game for the Macross franchise and yeah so uh, let's take a look at the first thing first uh, got something here from FedEx so um, I can't like I said um, a lot of this stuff came in quite some time ago it's just that I can't really recall what I actually ordered so it's it's kind of like a surprise for myself until I see it and I'm like oh yeah right I ordered that shit so <laughs> so anyway guys hopefully you guys are excited just like I am I am very excited to see what I actually ordered again um, of course some of this stuff are a bit more recent of course I would know what they are and oh hmm so inside a big bag there's a tiny box okay so I'm tossing the wrapper aside and here we go my trusty pen knife and we're gonna slice this up if i recall i think this is from cd japan um should be the brand new albums for mamegu even though they kind of like released about two weeks ago uh okay so lots of wrappers just like how the japanese always does things so we're gonna toss all of them aside oh okay so, box aside, so inside this thing is her CD album, so this belongs to Mame Gu, if you guys don't know who she is, uh, she is also known as um, Nakajima Megumi, um, who is also the voice actress for Rankali from Macross Frontier, so Macross fans, this is something that you probably might be interested in, so um, yeah, so her, her CDs come with photos, so I got duplicates because there are two different singles and of course each single comes with a photo print so if you guys can see this is what we get from Nyowing which is CD Japan so yeah so different retailers have different photos and of course um, the nicer ones you really tend to be the ones that are pretty hard to order from <laughs> alright so these are the two albums that she has Currently, so if you guys are fans of Ranka Lee, or uh, even the Seiyu herself, um, Nakajima Megumi, or short form as Mamegu, this is definitely um, stuff that you will probably want to get your hands on. So very very lovely stuff. So I can't wait to have these in my um, phone devices and listening uh, to the wonderful new beats that she has. So yeah, very very excited for it. Alright, tossing aside all the bubble wrap and the wrappings, let's move on to the next one. Next one is... Oh, okay. I remember what this is. So you can see this is from like big camera. Um, and it's like Kojima and soft map. I don't know whether this guy... This is actually inverted for you guys. If it's inverted, I apologize because the camera is inverted right now for me as well. So, hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna open this from the bottom because it's, I guess, easier rather than going through all this, you know, labeling that the post postage company has to paste onto the boxes which is annoying to remove at times. And yes, personal information, so... <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Um, okay, so this one, I had to go through a more expensive route. And, um, well, because apparently they do have um, an international shipping, you know, division for this. So that's pretty fantastic. So, yeah. So if you guys want to get these for yourself, um, go check out the website for SoftMap. 
um, which is the company that's printing these shirts. Yes, I did say uh, shirts, if you didn't hear me wrongly. So yes, so I got this, which is the brand new Makutoma shirts. I'm going to open up one of them just to show you guys, or maybe I'll open up both of them just to show you guys what it is. So I'm going to toss all the wrapping aside because this are not needed. I could probably salvage the macro sticker, maybe on my own time later. So, okay, so just to show you the design. So this blue one belongs to who? Um, Utawa Onore. Okay, so this one belongs to Ken. Uh, if you guys don't know who Ken is, so this is the new shirt design, or rather the new design for Makutoma. So yeah, it's the live room show for my cross information. So these are what the, the hosts are wearing right now. So this is the new design, very lovely. So yeah, all right. So this one on the sleeve, it says here, uh, I don't know whether you guys can actually see it. Utawa Onore. <laughs> so this belongs to Bo, or basically Ken. Ken Sama, so he he he's the voice actor for Bo in Macross Delta, so that's pretty nice. So his previous shirt was a black one, but his newer shirt, which is with this design, is actually in blue, so that's pretty nice. Uh, then of course I have this one, which is the orange version, um, which belongs to Minori. Um, if you don't know who she is, she plays the character Freya Weon in Macross Delta. So yes, all the whole stuff from Macross Delta. <laughs> uh, sadly to say, none of the older Macross artists are hosting, you know, all these live shows. So here we go. So it's the same shirt design um, for the characters, just that this shirt is in orange. But of course, the sleeve design will be different. So this one is drawn by Minori. There we go, so it has Freya's face on it, so Utawa Watashi, or is it Atashi? Uh, it says Atashi, so it's uh, music is me, so Freya Vion. <laughs> Very cute. So I actually have the shirt design for the older version of uh, Makutoma, um, which I have the colors for, um, let's see, Nozomiru, which uh, is the voice actress for Naka. Uh, Makina Nakajima, yes. So, and of course, I have the color for uh, Juna, which is the purple one. Uh, she's the singing voice for um, Mikumo Gun. I cannot pronounce her family name. <laughs> uh, Gunmia? Uh, guy, 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 I cannot pronounce her family. Anyways, Mikumo fans, I apologize. I'm not a big Mikumo. I'm not a big Mikumo fan, but I'm a big Juna fan. So that's one of the reasons why I got her original shirt. Um, I'm I'm still considering whether to wear that for Juna's performance and signing on Saturday for Singapore AFA, which is two days time. Uh, so I'm, the time I'm recording this video, so if you guys are watching way past after AFA, I apologize. <laughs> it takes some time to get uh, rendering to videos, especially since I have yet to do the one for September. So by the time you watch this, it's gonna be December and it's very delayed. So <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so other than that, the other old shirts I actually got, I had um, the green did i order the green one which belongs to reina's uh seiyu um i think i didn't so huh all right so anyways so these are the two shirts i got so yeah if you guys want to order these the they actually have international shipping it's a bit costly um considering that they, uh, they don't really do it in masses so this that's why this one is a bit more expensive and the material is very soft it's very comfortable cotton um, although the printed stuff can be a bit dangerous it does feel like these scratchy kind of stuff that can be washed off uh, but it's still a better print you know it, it's a lot better I don't know whether you guys can see the material so it's a lot better you know as compared to the previous shirt um, this one feels a bit more durable as compared to if you're gonna do it like toss it into a washer um, definitely you need a clo clothing bag 
you know to put these kind of shirts in of course you want to invert the shirt as well so that the images don't scrape onto the uh, clothing bag and of course at the same time the clothing bag doesn't scrape on the metal inlets of the washer if that makes sense to you guys if you guys do your own laundry <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna toss this shirts behind me <laughs> and we're gonna move on to the next box there's a lot of stuff here so this one is very recent um this one is from amazon japan um i, I guess this is still inverted for you guys i don't know let me see how it goes in the rendering of this video so, <laughs> um, so this is from amazon japan I got this like two days ago. I ordered it two days ago and it's already here. That's insanely fast Amazon. <laughs> so, alright, so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna take a look what's inside. So, there's something here that I ordered that probably no gamer in the world will probably buy. I actually needed it because I'm actually playing the uh, Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch in my living room, not in my bedroom because my bedroom is like can see like I've boxes over there and there's really no space to walk or even do exercise in my room so um, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I actually got it so let's pull this up so as usual Amazon is very good with um, protecting the uh, customers goods so it's like sh um, shrink wrapped with all this stuff and then there's a cardboard below and it'll be placed in the middle of the entire box that is sent to you so even if it gets wobbled around it doesn't really move and it's perfectly a good condition so fantastic stuff with Amazon Japan or rather Amazon in general uh, no matter which country of Amazon's you order from they will do the exact same thing for your article so that's very very good um, all right so very happy with Amazon's well except, except for that one time where <laughs> where I ordered um, that Ghostbusters comics if you if you guys have already watched my last unboxing video for the month of September you guys will probably know what I'm talking about where my comic was actually destroyed so that was one of the worst things that an uh, Amazon seller can actually do so okay so I, I posted this on my personal Facebook um, so friends who are closer to me will probably know um, yes I got this this is the volume 6 of um, you know na um, the bully Nagata uh, Nagataro I cannot pronounce the name properly uh, Nagato Toro yeah <laughs> Nagatoro san <laughs> so this is a very special edition it comes with this um, 2020 calendar um, so it has a lot of a lot of pictures of her and of course very specially drawn illustrations by the creator and the cover for this amazon exclusive is different so i'm gonna have an image here i suppose um showing the original cover for the the manga while the amazon version is this one so yeah fantastic fantastic stuff so okay so putting this aside so the other thing that i ordered okay which is something that no gamer will probably probably buy even even if you're a switch owner you probably know what i'm gonna show maybe so it's actually the switch dock <laughs> and the power cable um so uh, nintendo actually did sell this out but i couldn't find this anymore within my local resellers uh retailers because why would anyone want to buy this apparently this idiot had to buy one if <laughs> at this point of time and i tried to find one with my local retailers because i wanted the power cable um with my own country's um you know three pin socket so this one is from japan so it comes with um it comes with a two pin i don't know whether you guys can see it so it's japan's version of the power uh, power plug where it's the two metal pins so i probably have to use a, a power adapter to have this working so i have one in my room so i actually moved my nintendo switch dock that was actually attached to my room monitor where i do all the recordings for my nintendo switch games i shifted it out to the living room so i can play my ring fit adventure and lose some weight uh, hopefully i did lose some weight uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments whether I actually look slimmer than I normally do. I've been working out on that game quite a bit and it's actually very effective. Let me know if you guys want me to do a review of the game itself. Um, that would be pretty interesting to do. And yeah, so I had to get another dock so that I can record my games in my room and just have to, you know, bring my Switch out of my room and put it into the other dock if I'm gonna play Ring Fit Adventure and I can still do my recording in my room. So that's one of the reasons why I actually had to get this. Um, it is not actually a viable item to buy if I guess you only need a single dock, you know, but if you guys have like multiple TVs you want to play on, like the one in your room, the one in your living room, uh, the one in your toilet, I don't know, you guys <laughs> I I have friends who have actually got TV monitors in their toilets where they can actually watch a show while they are doing their business, that kind of stuff. So weird world. So <laughs> okay, so that's one of the reasons why I got this. It is pretty expensive though. Um, I think this was retailing about close to a hundred hundred USD uh, or so. You know, this how much was this in yen? So I can't really see the pricing. Uh, yeah, I kind of paid about 100 or so for this as well um, after the conversion of the Japanese yen. So it is a pretty expensive item considering it's just a dock and a power cable plus. Okay, if you want the official Nintendo HDMI, but I'm sure everyone has, has a buttload of HDMI cables in their house by now in this modern age. So yeah, so okay, another one of the weird things that I actually ordered for myself because you know, for the sake of conveniences. Okay, so the other thing that I actually got um, has probably something to do with um, my recent hobby, I guess, with uh, doll, Nendroid dolls, I guess, or, or miniature dolls. Because this is actually a very old copy of um, Nendroid doll, I guess, costume design instructions. So it actually teaches you um, it actually teaches you how to um, create your own Android doll costumes if you're into all this handicraft stuff. So I probably might want to try my hand at this in the future. There is a new volume that's coming out but this is the very first one. I couldn't find this book being sold by any second-hand bookstore in Japan um, but that is online. Um, yeah, so I had to get this off Amazon and uh, apparently it was still being retailed at its original 2,000 yen price um, with tax but I was only paying 2,000 yen. Um, I guess the tax part was removed because it's Amazon Japan so they probably covered that because it's an international selling site so you know tax free. <laughs> so anyways, so pretty interesting stuff. Um, I. If you guys want to see what the new book is, let me know in the comments down below as well. I probably um, might do a compilation video with book 1 and book 2 if you guys are interested, especially for doll collector fans. So yeah, so if you guys are interested in this, let me know in the comments down below. Alright, so let's move on to the next box because we've, we've talked quite a bit about the Nintendo Switch dock, which is... <laughs> <laughs> what? <sighs> it's a very weird item to actually get. So okay, so the next thing I actually got is from Ami Ami. So you guys probably know what this is. It's like a whole bunch of figurines and stuff because that's what Ami Ami is well known for. Um, where they do sell other things like um, plastic models, um, accessories for character goods, that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna rip out the. Ah. Alright, so Ami Ami, lots of stuffing as well. Fantastic from Japanese companies that do shipping internationally. So here's the first item. So it's a new costume for my mini Dolphy Nendroid. This is an official Nendroid doll costume that is like a sailor. Sailor Fuku. So um, if you're wondering which doll I actually, or rather which Nendroid I'm actually using this on, it's my Ranka Lee Nendroid. So, um, I haven't, like like I said in my September unboxing video, I haven't actually started playing with them. Um, really haven't gotten the time considering that I'm working full time and I'm doing YouTube videos and I need time for myself. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, so let's move on. So here is the second Blu-ray box for um, Takagi-san. If you guys don't know, I am a big fan. Go watch my September unboxing video. You'll probably see box number one for the Blu-ray. Um, so yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna toss the bubble wrap aside. So here is the box art for Blu-ray box number two. So this is for the second season of the TV series. I actually do have the first season complete set as well. Uh, yeah, so I was gonna do an entire unboxing video for the entire Takagi-san collection that I have. I guess if you want to see that happen, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so I do have Mandroids here. Um, so this is from series that I personally love. So let me just chuck aside all the boxes. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Okay, so here is what I got for the Nandroids. So the first one is the Professor Layton Nandroid. Um, pretty fantastic stuff. I love the Layton series even though I have not actually played any of the Layton series. I've only played the Catriel Layton series. I actually like her, the Catriel Layton's character. Um, I do like Professor Layton's series as movies. I, I know there are a lot of movies for Professor Layton. So pretty fantastic Nandroid to own. Hopefully he, they release um, his assistant. Um, and of course, eventually Catriel Layton, uh, hopefully um, Professor Layton's daughter. I'm sure most of you guys probably know. If you go and wiki up Catriel Layton, you can find out that you know Catriel Layton is his daughter, somewhat. Spoiler. <laughs> okay, so uh, all right. The other one is an old classic favorite. The very first of five. Hey! <laughs> so, I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with this series. Hopefully you guys are. If not, what are you guys doing with your life? This is one of those Maho Shoujo animes that you must watch before you die. So, <laughs> I'm sure some of you are big fans of uh, Maho Shoujo Doremi or uh, Magical Doremi in short, you know. And this is actually based off their 20th anniversary. That's why they have this logo here um, with Doremi's head figure and her gigantic balls of hair at the corner looks like Mickey Mouse. Uh, but yeah, it's their 20th anniversary in fact um, and they are coming out with the whole uh, lineup of five characters so you can see they actually have you know her and of course that witch <laughs> thingy that is that yeah yeah it's 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 a witch that gave them their powers so oops i better move this away from the camera so all right so i'm running out of space i am seriously running out of space on my floor okay so that's how badly packed my room is okay so let's um find some safe place to put this first Moving on to the next box. I'm, I'm not done. I'm, I'm halfway there. There's still two gigantic boxes. Oh my god. Okay, so this one is from... Uh, I have no idea where this is from. I forgot what this is. <sighs> okay, let's open up and find out what it is. Okay. okay, here we go. So it looks like another package from CD Japan. I think this one is with Mayan's soundtrack so yeah so Mayan fans or Sharonome fans from Macross Frontier this is probably what you want to see okay let me just get out the contents first all right so just like uh, Mame Goose CD album um, Mayans comes with bonus material just like that uh, photo pieces that you saw um, for Mamegu. So here we go. Mayan and her specially signed bromide. You know, it's exactly the same as her CD cover. Yeah, so if you guys are fans of Mayan, you know, go get yourself a, a copy of her latest uh, album. This was for the anime Azure Lane. If you guys don't know what that is, I seriously, actually myself, I'm not an Azure Lane fan. I did not play the game. I didn't have I have yet to watch the anime. I'm just a big fan of 
Mayan and her music. So she is coming to AFA Singapore. She's singing on Sunday. So if you guys are, you know, interested or if you guys are fans, um, you know, why not come down to sing? Oh no, it's kind of bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's 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 a bit dented at the top. Oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, at least there's no lining, I suppose. Wait, is there no lining? Uh, there is a bit of a line, but okay. I don't know, I'm just gonna close one eye. It's, it's kind of heart pain because it's at the sign printed area, so... Ouch! <laughs> so yeah, she's coming to Singapore, probably we'll hear the latest song from this single. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. Okay, once again, I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna move on. So this is a bit special. If you guys are fans of Tanky no Ko, or basically Weathering Review, or if you're fans of Red Whims, this is something you probably want to get. So I'm a big, pretty big fan of Makoto Shinkai's work. Um, I've yet to do my review uh, as, as of this time that I'm recording this Hopefully the review is out before this video comes out So if you guys uh, have not seen it yet uh, What are you doing? Go watch it <laughs> So this is the special edition of Red Whims um, You know CD I would say complete, it says here complete version of you know the song listing for Tanky No Ko. It comes with that CD soundtrack and of course that there's the DVD um, video as well probably from their music video for that songs and of course there's a gigantic art book inside so if you want me to do an unboxing of this let me know in the comments as well down below I'll probably do a separate video just for this it's a very heavy box <laughs> and yeah I'm pretty excited to see what kind of contents there are inside the art book itself art book art book for Tanky no Ko let me know in the description down below so alright <laughs> we are finally moving to the big boxes of my stuff for November and oh god there's a lot of stuff why did I order so many things? Uh, just too many wonderful things. Okay, so this one, this one is from Mandarake. So, okay, I'm sure everybody knows about Mandarake by now. If you guys are otakus and you love cheap figurines that are second hand, um, but still in a pretty good condition, Mandarake is a place to go if, especially if you're visiting Japan, Tokyo, anywhere that has a Mandarake outlet, you definitely want to pop in, pick out, or clear their stock of rare, um, cheap secondhand figures and collectibles, whatever they have there. So I got some stuff from Mandarake because, well, it was cheap. <laughs> so here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put the box here because it's too big, so... Oh! Let's clear the stuffing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Things are dropping. Things are dropping. Okay, so the first thing... Or rather the whole thing... Uh, they packed it exactly like Amazon Japan. So... I'm gonna just pull it out. Uh, and we're gonna just do an unboxing from here. Okay, okay, so ripping open the bubble wrap, the first thing I ordered. This is actually the second color print for this figure. Um, it's a plastic model, so you have to build it yourself. Uh, so I just had to get it because it's Fumina, and she is my favorite cat character from Build Fighters, the series. So if you guys don't know about Gundam Build Fighters, please go check it out. This is a very awesome figure. It was very expensive. The original colour, which was um, her original costume colour, which is yellow and black. So this is an alternate colour uh, version. I probably might get the original one in the future if I have the finances for it, but this was definitely way cheaper. The original colour um, was about, I would say, 140 US dollars. So this is, this is less than 100. So <laughs> I had to get it because it was so much cheaper and it was the only piece available from the outlet. So yeah. Um, then of course, the other stuff that I had to get was my other waifu from Soa Online. So yeah, 
Yeah, more figures of my darling. <laughs> oh no, the box is destroyed. Oh crap. <laughs> so there's a dent here in the box. So I, I guess that's what, um, you know, how they, they rate the condition of the item. But the figure is pretty good condition, so I have no worries about that. So here is one, and I've got another one, same character, but this one is in her bridal gown, so that's pretty fantastic. So yeah. Very nice. Okay, so cheap figures. This, this, these were like 400 yen each. So, um, 400 yen, that's like 4 US dollars. Why would you miss out on a figuring that is uh, pretty decent quality that is like 400 yen? <laughs> so, okay. So, moving along. There is so much junk on the floor right now. Um, and here is a bit of stuff that I got that is Macross related. Oh dear lot. Okay. Mac okay, so here are the things that I got that are Macross related. First of all, this was the reason why I actually ordered the rest of the stuff. This is actually the most expensive item, although it is the... Well, not exactly the most expensive. The, the Fumina figure is probably the most expensive, but this was a bit more rare. So it's just the Macross Frontier. Yeah, Blu-ray. Nyan Nyan music clip. So very nice. I, I actually don't own this um, even though I've probably seen the content somewhere on the internet <laughs> and I finally own it myself so I'm pretty happy. Um, so my cross fans look forward to future contents you know like this pretty fantastic stuff. So if you guys want to see the back of the box you know yeah, so if you guys are like, hey, I've seen that before. So, then the other thing is a pretty tiny thing, then it has Mirage on it. So, pretty nice. Um, I didn't buy this when it was first released. Um, yeah, I, I have the other versions of this um, rubber strap collection. So, this is the very first one that was released. Um, which was the Nandroid Pucci version from Good Smile Company. So yeah, I, this is the only series of rubber strap that I don't own from Macross Delta. So I had to get the one with my favorite girl, Mirage. Um, although Wild Kure members are involved, you know, I do like Reina, you know, and Makina, you know, but Mirage is still number one. <laughs> Alright, so that's it from Ami Ami. So let's move on to the last gigantic box. And I already need to clean up my room after that. This is this is just a mess. Okay, so Okay, so the last box is the most exciting one. Save the best for the last, right? So <laughs> okay, close friends of mine who have uh, follow me on Facebook. You'll probably know what is inside here, but there are other things that is included that is pretty exciting. This entire box mostly is all Macross related stuff. So Macross fans, thank you for staying all the way to the end. Hopefully you enjoy whatever is inside here. And here we go. So a lot of these things are from Yahoo Auctions. And when you hear Yahoo Auctions, yes, it's 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 expensive stuff. And to be honest, I didn't really spend a lot on them. I was pretty lucky. So let me tell you the stories of the items that I got inside here. So all of these items inside here are auction items, hence Yahoo Auctions. So, uh, and you have to ballot or bid for the items um, if you want them. And it can get very ferocious when it comes to getting the stuff that you want. Oh god, so the people at Yahoo Auctions do very well at packing um, just like Amazon Japan but it's just that this time round it's a lot tougher to pull out. Ugh. Oh hey, I got it out of the box. So let's start with the one of the items that I actually was anticipating to get before Anime Festival Asia. Um, so let me just cut out the plastic here while not damaging the goods. Okay, so the first item... Oh dear lord, they really packed it very well. <laughs> I'm just gonna rip this apart. <coughs> 
Ooh, they taped it. Okay. Wow, it's taped. Really well. Oh, the bubble wrapping got destroyed. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna remove all the tiny, tiny stuff first. And we've got this as well. Please don't destroy the plastic wrapping on this. Okay, so let's start with the first item that I was very, very excited to get before Anime Festival Asia, which is this shirt, which is for Juna's um, portion of the Flying Dog Festival 2. So, yes, Flying Dog is the, I guess, the publishing company for all the uh, artist CDs. Um, you know, like Juna, Mayan, uh, Mamegu, all the artists from Macross franchise. Um, you know, so Juna is coming to Singapore. I was planning to have wear this for her, you know, her signing session because it's her. But I kind of want to wear the Makutoma Mik uh, Mikumo color ed shirt, um, you know, because I want her to know that you know, I followed her since her debut in Macross Delta. So, I don't know. Now that I have this shirt, I, I'm very torn in between which shirt to wear. So, who knows? <laughs> so, very nice shirt. Um, I'm gonna take it out for you guys to take a look. Um, yeah, so, Flying Dog did have um, their merchandise sold. And you can actually get it internationally. Uh, if you have a third party shipper, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, okay, so here we go Juna from Flying Dog Inu Fest 2. So, at the back of the shirt, it just says Inu Fest 2. So, a very simple design for Juna. I mean, that's Juna for you. I kind of like Minori's, um, Suzuki Minori's design, which had a uh, apple, which is. You know, because she's Mino Ringo. Ringo is Apple in Japanese, if you guys don't know. And of course, Macross fans will know it very well. Then, the Apple was shaped as a dog. So, because it's Inu Fest, which is Dog Fest. So, uh, so that was a very creative design shirt, even though it's very simple. But Juna has her big face on it. So, <laughs> a lot of love there. So, yeah. Alright, another shirt to toss to the back. <laughs> Alright, here are the other smaller items that I got. So, this... These items, well, they're not exactly fan or character design items. It's just something that I probably got to help um, display certain things nice. So, um, I actually got this very cheap nail art frame. Um, I, I don't know whether you ladies actually use this to actually display some of your really nice nail art designs um i i don't i don't have any female friends that actually does that so i'm not sure let me know in the comments down below if you actually do display these and this kind of thing so it's actually a frame you know it's a plastic frame where you can actually you know let me just open it up you know and of course you can put your nail arts um inside so you, you place them in and you, of course you press them close so it will display there and of course you have this stand where you can actually insert here and you can have them displayed on your table to look nice if you're not wearing them on your fingers so that's pretty nice well why do i have this i don't have any nail art to keep this well i do have um a set of guitar picks from the macross 7 basara live that i wanted to keep so I thought this might be a very cool way. Um, shout out to the Japanese Twitter fan who actually displayed their Basara pics in this. So they gave me the idea and I actually went ahead to get it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. And alongside this, I actually got other stuff that is of the same genre. So uh, it's something to do with guitar picks as well. So aside from that, I can actually display the picks this way, which is pretty cool. You can have the picks as an accessory. So I got this, which is a necklace where you can put a guitar pick in it. So there's this plastic thing. Um, let me just get it out to show you guys. So these are pretty cheap. They're like... Um, 
I would say 100 or 200 yen. So it's a necklace where you can actually have the pick inserted inside here. Um, yeah, there is actually another plastic piece to seal up this thing. So yeah, so pretty fantastic stuff. So very, very cool accessory. So when I was searching for like a guitar pick holder, I came across this item. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. Um, probably gonna throw in one of the cooler picks inside here and have it dangle around my neck or on my back somewhere like that yeah okay so the next thing is a macross item as well um, I'm just gonna clear all the macross stuff first before the last one which is a bit surprising um, if you guys well if you guys watched my last video I think you wouldn't really find it a surprise so <laughs> okay so here we go we have some um, event exclusive Macross stuff. So this was from a re very recent event. In fact, it's still ongoing, um, which is the Macross Illumination Live event. Um, so yeah. Oh, I have one more item inside here, so I'm just gonna dig it out. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to. Oh my goodness, it's sealed so tightly. I'm gonna have to destroy this thing. Um, hopefully, I don't destroy the wrapper. For the official event stuff okay so um like again i i actually had to bid for all these items but i managed to get a very good price on this so it's actually a set of ranka's can badge and her keychain acrylic keychain so you guys can see the acrylic keychain already but let me just take out the can badge to show you guys what is it so yeah so this is ranka's exclusive can badge yeah, there's a bit of reflection right there. Um, let me see if I can get it. So yeah, Ranka's exclusive can badge for Macross Illumination Live. So this is the set. It's exactly the same image, just that one is a can badge and one is the acrylic key holder. So fantastic, fantastic stuff. So I'm going to keep this again until I actually can find a place or it uh, for it on my bag or something. So, ooh sticky now here are the really really exciting items um, from the bidding wars which is the most recent uh, figure art spirit figure spirits kuji rankali set so i actually got this and the, which is the b price and i also got myself the c price so this is the uh, the two alternate colored versions for Ranka's figure. Now, um, the thing about these figures is I had to bid them individually and I got really lucky. So the price of these figures um, are really expensive right now. Um, if you can find them secondhand in Mandarake, that would be really godly. I have seen them on Mandarake and for Ranka, they are a lot cheaper. Uh, so at this point of time that I'm recording the video, Cheryl's figures have been released in Japan for about, um, I would say, three days. And yeah, Cheryl's figures are way more expensive than Ranka, as to be expected of the number one Diva in the Macross series. Yes, her figures are a bit more expensive, but the original pricings of a ticket to pull this Kuji is about 6,500 yen. Now, I only got these figures at... 5,000 yen each. This is cheaper than the original ticket pool. Uh, although they were on bidding process, you know, on Yahoo auctions, so I was really lucky. I'm surprised that no one outbid me, you know. Um, and yeah, thank God for letting me earn um, the two figures from this collection. And this one is actually the most expensive one out of the three. I've seen people purchase this one at like 130 US dollars. That's not including the shipping to bring this into their country. That's just the cost of the figure. And that's hella expensive. Uh, that's like double the amount that you'll pay for a single ticket to purchase one of these. So yeah, if you guys want to see an unboxing of these, let me know in the comments down below. So yes, guys, we have reached the final item of the unboxing. Whew. Okay, so what is it? It's actually a set of very 
Hey guys, so um, I had to dis interrupt that earlier portion of the video. Uh, this is me in the future from when I recorded that portion. Um, so before we continue off, I actually have another box that came in uh, close to the beginning of um, December. So it's actually within the period for uh, November so that's why I had to do this second portion of recording I had to insert it in into the other video <laughs> that I actually pre-recorded way before so yeah so definitely um, you might want to check out this as well it's another gigantic box from Ami Tapi so um, yeah a lot of stuff from there and uh, if you guys don't know Ami Ami, you should definitely check them out if you want all your otaku merchandise. So let's do this guys, we're gonna open up this gigantic box. It has a lot of stuff that's uh, kind of related to Pokemon and Macross at the same time. Um, so yeah, looking forward to see what's inside. Uh, let me just slice up the box first. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna take out the things one by one because this box is just too huge. Uh, uh, yeah, it needs to be, you know, taken care of gently. Don't want to damage the goods inside. Alright, so chucking away all the stuffing first. Alright, and the first thing off is a Macross item that most probably a lot of you are um, either waiting for it or deciding to order it. So it belongs to... Reina's VF31E Siegfried. This one comes with a, a very cute patch that is drawn by the voice actress for Reina Prowler, uh, who is Toyama now. So she actually drew this um, jellyfish looking Reina. <laughs> very, very cute. So this is the fourth one out of the five uh, for Macross Delta. And it's of course illustrated by Tenjin Sama. So if you guys don't know who he is, he's a very famous um, Mecha artist. Um, he's also doing Star Wars for the Ban Bandai releases, I think, um, for the Star Wars plastic models. So definitely go grab yourself one of these. If you're a Reyna Prowler fan or even just a Macross Delta fan, you definitely want to keep all five of them because this is the special Tenjin Summer um, illustrated versions. Um, if you guys didn't know, the plain colors for this version is actually shown during the Walkure third life. Um, yeah, so definitely one of the items that any Macross fan will definitely have to pick up. So alright, moving along, I actually have this. This is a Pokemon sling bag for the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, this it's it's offic officially licensed by Nintendo. So, but it is a third party item uh, produced by Hori. Uh, if you guys don't know uh, what Hori is, Hori is a third party Japanese company producing accessories for whatever game consoles there are. So definitely, Hori is a very, very common product or company you know to produce accessories so definitely look out for it so it's a it's a sling bag um you know to hold your nintendo switch it is capable of holding the large nintendo switch which is the the one that's dockable and at the same time it is also you know it has that front pocket that lets you put your nintendo switch light if you own one so i do have both generations the um, first gen nintendo switch and at the same time i do own the nintendo switch light as well so yeah definitely something to look forward um, to picking up if you guys are a pokemon fan it is probably one of the hardest things to find nowadays because this thing sold out so quickly oh my goodness and the retail pricing for this is horrendously upped in pricing um, in Japan this was actually let's see if there is any um, yen pricing on the box so huh usually there'll be Japanese yen pricing somewhere 
But apparently this one doesn't have so I guess the retailers can mark up however they want to. So yeah, but this thing was being sold on AmiAmi for about 2,300 yen. So that's close to 23 US dollars. But in my country, it was marked up to almost about, I would say 38 USD. <laughs> that's a ridiculous markup. So if you guys can actually get it for cheap, go for it uh, if you if you don't have a carrier for your nintendo switch on the go uh, i mean you could use a generic bag but this one looks just cool because it's pokemon <laughs> all right so moving on to the next item within the box itself um oh so i have um let's see what this is i can't really recall what did i get oh wow that's fast so um, in the other earlier box from Amiyami, I actually showed off the second Blu-ray disc for Takagi-san. So here is the third Blu-ray disc for Takagi-san Season 2. So very very cute, adorable um, artwork. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to re-watching this whenever I have the free time. So yeah, let's move on to the next item. So if you guys didn't know, I have a full-time job as a train driver here or a train conductor, whichever one you want to call it by. Uh, and yeah, so I had to get this. So this is the Nintendo Switch game for uh, train simulators. It has a very, very nice... You know, um, considering that it's it's within the autumn season, or is it fall? Yeah, so yeah, so that's why you have all the red maple leaves and uh, all that kind of stuff. So it, it features all the classic trains within the countryside. Um, so it's a simulator game, and this 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 is not in English though. So it's purely Japanese. But if you guys love trains like the Japanese do, um, give this a go. Although this is just one of the game simu um, train simulator games out there. There is another one that is a pretty famous one. I think that was a Den Sha Go. But this one is it's more for the um, countryside, I guess. So yeah. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to give this a go. If you guys are interested to see um, uh, probably a let's play or a short introduction for this game, let me know in the comments down below as well. I probably might do it, um, maybe even for a live stream, who knows. So let me know how interested you guys are to see this. Um, I'm definitely trying to um, get my YouTube channel to maybe do reviews for more rarer games that people don't really talk about uh, aside from those uh, ones that the Americans love to review the mainstream stuff that probably can get them views. I think I would still like to prefer to go back to my roots where I review rare um, exclusive Japanese games you know that are not in English. I'm, I've still yet to do run for money so I apologize to whoever that actually <laughs> requested for it and I've still not done it. I, I'm definitely gonna do it. <laughs> Run for Money is still one of my favorite series after all. So right, uh, moving along. So I think this is the last two items. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a big fan of Ghostbusters. So I definitely had to get these. They were so adorable and uh, yeah, they're definitely more towards an American product than a Japanese product. But you know, Ami Ami was selling it and I don't really have sources for cheap American products so why not go through them? Um, so yeah, I had to get this. This is actually like a, a crochet version of the marsh, uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It's so adorable. So yeah, here we go. So it's the Robots, handmade by Robots Collective Final figure. But it looks like it's a crochet version of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So very very adorable so if you're wondering what the box looks like so this is the top view the back view the side view so it's 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 like a crochet stay path with a heart <laughs> so there's the bottom as well so all right so then of course there along with stay path you have your iconic other um mascot from ghostbusters you have Slimer! So Slimer is pretty adorable. He has his teeth being crocheted as well. So that's pretty cute. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it's adorable to me. It, it looks squishy. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see an unboxing of this, 
um, let me know down in the comments down below as well. I'll definitely love to open this up and maybe explain how the texture is like. It looks like it's crocheted though, but it, it kind of looks like it's plastic as well. So it, it would have been cool if it was actually really crocheted. <laughs> so handicrafters out there, if you would like to do one for me, let me know. I would definitely like to commission you to do something like this. Uh, it's definitely something that it will look adorable as a real crochet puppet. So, ah, so yeah, so that's pretty much all from this big box here. Um, and I guess I'll return you guys to the past me. Lovely, pretty cute stuff. Why pretty cure? And what's so special about it? Well, it's a collaboration between Pretty Cure and Sanrio. <laughs> so if you're a Pretty Cure fan, you probably know what I'm talking about. So let me show you guys what it is. It's not the stuffed toys. I couldn't get the event exclusive stuff, so I went with something a bit more guaranteed. I really wanted to collect these. Or uh, rather, uh, I wanted to collect the set for Cure White and Cure Black. Um, I would probably give them, I will probably give away the other, you know, rubber straps that are in this collection to another friend. Um, she's also a very, very big pretty cure. Where is the opening for this packaging? <laughs> so I'll probably give them away to a very, um, good friend, I guess, who is a cosplayer and... Uh, she's also a Macross fan at the same time, so that's how I got to know her. At the same time, she she also does, um, you know, she she's a big fan of Pretty Cure as well. Okay, so here you go. I finally can un unwrap this nonsensical burrito of a wrapper. So here we go. Okay, so it's actually a gacha collection. It's not that hard to find, uh, but I actually had to bid for it. Uh, it was very cheap though. I think I paid. Um, about $15 for the entire thing um, considering that each one was like 300 yen to pull so there is let me see there is this whole set of 2, 4, 6? no, 2, 4, 5 there are 5 different designs you know so you have Cure White, Cure Black with Hello Kitty and of course, uh, Maple and uh, I can't remember what's the other character's name. Maple and uh, Meepul. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a long time since I watched the original Pukyo, so forgive me on that. So um, so yeah, I really wanted to collect um, this. So I, I really wanted this because it's it's so cute the design. So they do have the two girls just like that on one strap Then of course they have them individually with their Hello Kitty counterparts Very cute as well Then of course you have the Hello Kitty versions you know, of them And of course Maple and Meeple <laughs> So guys, what do you think about all this geeky stuff? <laughs> a lot of macro stuff A lot of other random stuff as well, especially the Nintendo Dog set. And of course, we have Precure stuff as well. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty big Precure fan, uh, mostly from the classic series and of course those uh, series that are probably very um, fun to watch, exciting to watch. You know, there are some Precure series that are pretty um, boring, I don't know. So, um, yeah, so... Generally, my favorites, or rather the ones that I've watched and I really like, are uh, you know, the original Precure, um, Smile Precure, um, then we have the recent one, which is the Star Twinkle Precure, and of course, there is the Haguto Precure, and so on and so forth. There are so many Precure series. Uh. <laughs> All right, so anyway, guys, let me know uh, in the comments down below what you want me to do as a individual unboxing to show you the items and all that kind of stuff and of course leave a like to this video if you appreciate all the exciting otaku geek related stuff that i've shown you or maybe some cool ideas just like this nail nail holder um i probably should go and put a you know a pic inside and take a photo and put it on my facebook page to show you guys what it actually can do so yeah 
So let me know. Please, please let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see in the future. Uh, from all this unboxing of stuff, there's probably a lot of stuff that you can see. But of course, like stuff that I've already shown, please don't ask me to go and do a video. Maybe if you want me to take them out from the plastic wrapper, that kind of stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, I still have some of these since I'm going to give them away. I don't know. So... Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video for December. Uh, hopefully it's not as much stuff as I have now because my money is flying away. <laughs>